What's up, guys? <laughs> Look at Dylan. He's so mad right now. He absolutely hates traffic. He hates anyone who gets behind the wheel of an automobile. Um, we go through this often. It's pretty much like every time we get on the road together. And this is the reaction that we get. I'm not mad. It just it, it <laughs> stopped in the road and the light's green. Yeah, so let me show you what you're what we're dealing with right here. Oh yeah, bunch of just fools all going out for V Day. Straight green light. Which everywhere. I guess we kind of fall into that category. That's the whole reason we're going out. So. Yeah, well, we got the freaking gift card. Now I gotta go back through <laughs> all this hell to go get the gift card. <laughs> oh, no, I think it's so funny, but it's okay because I don't mind riding. You know, I don't have the stress behind the wheel that Dylan's dealing with right now, so I really, really feel for him right now. Oh my gosh, I almost rear-ended them. That face, that face is just anger, frustration. It's just pissed. Because now I gotta get in this lane and it ain't gonna happen anytime <laughs> soon. Just look, you're in a truck, just put your blinker on and people will get out of your way. People get out of my way. Yeah, so anyways, where are we headed to, Dylan? Out back. Out back. So we're gonna have a great Valentine's dinner at Out Back. Then we're gonna go back home and watch a movie because we're all about that red box and we didn't feel like spending $58 on movie tickets just to see one movie at seven o'clock prime time. So that's what our Valentine's Day plans are. Good <laughs> Got him. That's what you get for texting and driving, fool. This is not a good situation. As you can see, my life is in danger right now. Like, if I make it to the next vlog, I'm gonna like it. I'll probably watch it a hundred times just to just to show my appreciation. <laughs> All right. So, well, I don't have much else to say. What? Oh, you have some good news. Tell them your good news. For what? Interview. Oh, uh, I got a phone interview. I don't know. That's not really. It's for this company called Jacobson. It's for manufacturing, so I don't know uh, if I'm gonna get it or not. But. Listen, I can tell you how to be good over the phone. I've been practicing for the past two weeks selling knives on the phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a science to it. Well, we're gonna try. We're gonna try that. Hopefully, I do good. Maybe they'll give me a job because I don't have a job as of now. So you'll get one. I need one for the summer. Patience is a virtue, love. <laughs> Gosh, just taking 30 minutes to drive three miles. Yeah. God, so, so he's going to go ahead and drop me off at Outback, and I'm going to sit there because we called ahead earlier today. So our reservation was at 615. It's a little past 615. <laughs> but I told them um, that we were on the way, and they were like, oh, okay, well, once you get here, it's still going to be another 45-minute wait. And I was like, awesome. Well, as you can see, though, the traffic on the other side of the road is going by pretty well. You can't see that. Yeah, it's going by. There's like nobody on that side of the road. So he should he should get back pretty quickly, get the gift card, come back. And then I'll probably have already been seated and eaten 15 appetizers. But that's okay. Because we're going to have a great Valentine's Day, right? Sure. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Well, I guess that's all we have for you guys tonight. Got anything else to say, no. Mr. Scrooge? No. All nothing. right. He has nothing, so... We will see you guys on our next video. Peace. Dylan. Peace. <laughs>